above Team Liquid. This iteration of Team Liquid has taken so far in their lifeline. And so uh, it's Team Liquid, but I, look, you got to admire, you got to like the confidence. You know, Liege get a little bit spicy in interview, said they're going to win two to one. Naf's got the opening kill, spotted a second player towards the B bomb site. Defense goes one for one, and now it's all on Refresh. He's got backup at Donut. Did love that they brought up the highlight of Refresh, absolutely breaking Team Liquid in Season 14. Yes, different lineup, but same man that's going to be going against them, and he pops out late. Shush already with two phenomenal shots. OC, Nitro, Elise, all gone in B. We're left with just Shocks. Katie, and the only one to depart so far on the heroic side as Shocks will make contact at range. The Glock, USP. That's not a fun fight for that it's weapon, is it? Really, no. <laughs> Nope, not at all. And that pissed around, not even a chance for Team Liquid. Their strategy gets shut down before it can even really begin. Naf with the only kill to start things out, traded immediately. And obviously the slaughter ensues over at the A bomb site. Good little setup for Heroic. That's them putting emphasis on the bomb sites, not so much the middle of the map. I think I have concluded that USP headshots are the most satisfying in the game. Okay. More than Deagles, more than AKs. Yeah. Well, you've been deathmatching a lot, so you've probably had yeah, a chance to get a lot of USP uh, uh, 1,400 kills last night, four hours and something. Nice. I decided I should probably go to bed. You could probably go pro in NA at the moment. This might be your time now. At least NA. Ooh, Kadian. All right, getting a little bit frisky, getting a little bit investigative. Stown, Desk had a lot of positive things to say about him, and with good reasons. I think everyone's got a lot of positive things to say about him at the moment. He's performing so well, hitting a great peak for Heroic to start out this year, to start out 2022. And this round, uh, no armors, no upgraded pistols for Team Liquid. They'll be buying AKs in the next one. So nice, easy five kills, no death for Heroic's defense. Only Cadian's fallen so far in the pistol round. A bit of things to say about him, and it's not the typical platitudes of being nice to, to, a, to a new player on the team. It, it was just very genuine when you listen to them speak about him. So um, that's obviously very positive. And part of that, you have to imagine, is just uh, Team Liquid being excited to have a young store opper on their team, which is something they've historically lacked. I think that's absolutely true. I mean, when when was I? I guess when Simple was there, but he wasn't even the primary opera at the time. And Fallen's time there as an opera. I mean, uh, not pretty effective opera, but obviously this is a different style. This is like the new age opera coming in with OC. Exactly, and it wasn't exactly like the team was having their greatest time when Fallen was there either, right? I mean. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to think even during the the Grand Slam era, they didn't really have a standout opera in that regard. Elysian OC waiting back at middle, the aforementioned opera with an AK-47 in hand. Nitro and Naf going to start making their way out of the B-double doors. Stown is protected at the moment by a smoke, but just a random spam from sneaky little Naf. He's found another opening kill. You say random, but they're on the other side of mid as well. And with the smokes down as they were, that was probably communicated that there was a chance he could be in that box position. This has been so slow for Team Liquid. A lot of utility spent early on by Heroic, and you can see running out of running out of smokes to block off these choke points. Liquid decided to slow play and just wait for all the utility to fade. However, Heroic does have a perfect read of the situation. Tassus is here. Smoke is just put down at the top of the B ramp. Oh, this is a nightmare. They're going to have to go through this if they want a chance. This round might be over before it begins once again. Three defenders here. No access for Team Liquid. Time's running down. They got to just save. Oh, they're not going to. Gashox came out from Cave. Ooh. But there's only seven seconds. If they're going to go, they've got to get the bomb planted now. Oh, OC's planting it just in time. They are going to get it down. That is as close as you'd like. Man, oh, man. Shock saves the day with the late push out from Cave. They were all working up main. We didn't even suspect that he was going to be able to get those two kills. And it's Shush that has to save instead. Yeah, that's my mistake. I didn't think there was a world in which Team Liquid was going to have that kind of access well, into the bomb site. Coaches them. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> we figured it all out. <laughs> God bless. Who was it coming out of Cave? He just opened everything up. Shocks. Oh, dear. Nobody from Heroic has eyes on it. Just enough is done by Shocks to get them in with a last-second plant. Fair play. Two to one. Team Liquid snatch around from the claws of defeat. Credit to OC for just running in and planting at the exact time. It's very easy to miscalculate that with so many few seconds left. He still wants to check an angle. Heroic had the situation read perfectly. Slips away. Four players for Heroic going to start over towards the B bomb site. Stown in towards Cave and Jaguar. Triple boost over the top. Here we go. This is not working out so far. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, 
Ooh. That's nutty. Ooh. Ooh. Like, I feel like I have seen this, but have we not seen this more often? He's trying to get himself pushed into the corner so he doesn't get moved. Do they see him? Doesn't matter if they did or not. They walk straight back into it. Katie and just obliterates OC. I'm sure someone in the world has, but that's the first time I'm seeing that triple boost. That's pretty cool. I, I like it. I admire it. That's pretty freaking powerful, though, I will say. But again, it's like one of those boosts similar. I'll use the Olaf as an example. If you know where to look, it's a pretty easy target based on what we saw in that perspective, right? So. Yep. You'd wonder if they actually, I have to imagine that they, they saw him or they at least figured out the position of it. Shox and Elise have kind of slow played this take over towards the other side of the map. They're just now getting into position. Good kill from Elise to help open things up. That's Tessa's rotating through Temple. Smoke is down. Elise going to push forward. They have to be aware of Donut. Utility is out to allow them the safety of the plant. Elise and Shox tucked into the corner. And here it comes from Naf. Going to be a retake scenario. Elise. In for one and out immediately after by Shush. Girl, Shoxy's gonna run through though, finds him instead. He's got a Molotov to hold out the front of the site, try and keep him off the bomb, but it's not on the bomb itself, it's just trying to buy space. He's gonna go for the long play, wrap it around from CT, but fakes that out. Okay. Because if he's on the CT connector, he would have heard that running, so it goes back instead, and you're right, he has no, oh, oh, no kit, but smoke on top. That's gonna force Shox forward. He's got the kill now, and I think. Oh, oh, find it? He's got a kid out. Okay, I was looking for the kid instead. I was going to say, either get on the bomb now or get a kid. He goes for the kid. Yeah, he's figured it out. Two, or excuse me, three deep brings to the table is so, so valuable. Falls short in the end. It's a big round to have early on this round number five. Both teams pretty much decimated in terms of their money. This gets to dictate who's going to have control of economy in the ensuing two or three rounds afterwards. And up the ramp we go. Tess is stuck in cave. Shox and OC and Elise are going to stream in. Naf bringing up the bomb in fourth place. And they're calling. It's clear they're calling. It's going to be a retake. Bomb has been planted. Bomb planted again. Trying to spam through. Katie and asked us when he was doing the tricast with us what we thought of that spam spot and if it was too powerful. Yeah, he actually felt it was a little bit powerful. Shox tries to go in, and he sees numbers at the very least. He knows exactly where this retake is going to be coming from. If Shush can get this on the flank, though, if he can find Nitro on the ramp being pulled away, a little bit of a footstep early. He spots Nitro looking the other direction. Now the retake can be on. They're starting to stream in. There's the MAC-10 from Naf. Elise chimes in with another kill on the AK. Oh, it's looking away from Heroic. Shush with one kill. There's no kit, though. They have to bail out. Kit's dropped in cave, and they need to run had to. He tried to get to that kit. Even then, it looked like he was still backing away because the chances of finding the kills in time were none. And they will get one more gun down from Liquid. OC stays alive. Still no kits. Light on some nades. One M4 and all five sevens of Deagles around it. Rogue's really buying into the 5-7 meta at the moment. Ooh, Liquid caught snoozing. Refresh able to make the play for mid. Tessus pushes up the ramp instead to counter off the play. The fact that they had one side pushed up, might as well try and take the other while they're distracted. It works. Shush is well pushed up, takes a lead, and he's got an AK picked up. I don't know if he'll be expecting the second player of shocks. He does not. He goes down. And so far, the lesser weapons, the greater kills, as only two remain on the liquid side. Both with 100 HP. Shocks has five kills total so far in this game. OC yet to hit the scoreboard. Shocks, knowing that there was already activity inside of middle, will sit back at banana. Eagle for Snowen. Look at all those weapons. Flash out check. No one there. Does he dare? They're both there now. They both know the weapons are there. Snowen doesn't overextend for it. Doesn't want to get caught out, nearly does anyway. Keeps his head down, manages to creep away. No one's going to side angle that, though. No one's going to try and slide out and catch that off. They'll smoke Tessus instead. He's low HP. He doesn't want to get taken down early either. And Stowen's made it back to a lovely spot. Finds OC. And it's all on shocks. Around stolen away, sorely at this point from Heroic. Yeah, those five sevens did work. Close up angles. Two kills with them. Then Shocks can do nothing but save the AK-47. This is incredible for Heroic. What a turnaround. They're going to be able to salvage plenty of weapons. Kadian's got to be on his way over to pick up a rifle as well. They get three free rifles out of the round that they do not have to spend money on in the ensuing. Four to two. As Heroic just barely keeping this lead alive.
BMW reference, Jason. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, right. I thought I'd clue you in. Yeah, that was great because I was I was lost on that one. Okay. It pretty much is the competition package though, since pretty much everyone swapped over to the A1S. For good reason. Scout on. Go ahead. Scout on OC. I was gonna say. So he's finally got a scope weapon in hand. They haven't had the money to afford the AWP just yet, so we haven't been able to see his main strength and power come out with that weapon. Heroic control middle, Cadian in refresh push down. Stown has control of lane. He's clearing it as we speak. As the smoke is up in the double doors, he's going to call it completely clear. Naf has a very, very deep passive angle to watch the flank. Ooh, that's a nice shot. That's a good opener from Shox. Catching out Totem immediately, or Temple immediately. Look at Cadian. Oh, he's going to hear the Shirley. Yeah. Oh, Naf, the yeah. drive by. Now he's taken down afterwards. Refresh is there, but the bomb site is lost. It's going to be another retake attempt for Heroic. Heroic fans are all naffers now. Stallion's gonna take down Shox. Tess is trying to get above the boxes, sees them retreating away from the planted bomb. That was a huge kill because it keeps their flank completely open. They know that they're gonna be looking to ruins from the donut position, but Stallion can't find the angle, and Elise gets him instead. Now OC's on the board. Scope weapon indeed, headshot into Tessis, and a refresh has to tear Liquid apart once more. He can't do it. Nitro stick. Just 300 bucks spent in the round for Heroic. This time it's fast mid control for Team Liquid. Mac 10 leading the way. OC's gonna get a chance to uh, farm up, it appears. AK 47 at range, unarmored opponents, but oh, uh oh, he's in trouble now. He's out in the open. He actually doesn't get anything. He just sidestepped into the wide open away from all of his cover, and that kind of sucks for him. Elise up close as well. He's gonna go down one for one. This is dangerous. Liquid, don't lose any more. Don't let Heroic back in this round. Nitro is going to hold on. Double kill for him, and that should sustain things. It's just Kadian left with a USP one versus three. Shot from Kadian takes out Nitro, and Naf on one HP has to work in tandem with Shocks, but this isn't going to go anywhere at all. It doesn't have to do anything. Just stay alive because Kadian has no interest. He's liquidated this round. That was, you know, Liquid winning the round. That's and, pretty good. Uh, keep his stocks. Uh huh. You know. Yeah. It's good. Thanks. You, you. I just thought I'd explain that since uh, we're going into a recession next year. <laughs> you're on point today. Thanks, man. Winner of this plays uh, against NIP in the quarterfinals. We've switched sides of the bracket from yesterday. The ninjas watching and waiting to see who their opponent is going to be in the quarterfinals. A good group stage from them to get the automatic berth. All tied up. Yeah, usually not with that amount of numbers, although with USPs, obviously, you can. we can all understand. We can all relate. Sometimes you just want to throw something crazy, crazy at him, see if you can catch him off guard. Shush burns down to 60. I don't know if he hears. He's got to hear the footsteps over at the eight bomb site. Yeah, Acadian's hustling. He's on his horse to get here in time. Misses. This is the second where he could have caught OC at the off angle. Naf jumping across. Flashbang helps him get there safely. They now control Ruins. OC wants that fight. He's going to lose it. Kadian down to 19 HP. Five on four for Heroic. In the retake attempt. Tessis available and ready to fire above that smoke. Having been boosted up, Scowan's going to find Nitro as well. Shock's still lurking out middle, wants to try and work his way back in toward Donut. If he can get there late... Oh, never mind! Elise lines them up. I was going to see if he can get there late and undetected. He'll have two to kill, but Elise collaterals the two of them, and he finds a third on the as well. They don't know where Shox is. Bomb's ticking for him. He's in a perfect position. He only gets the first, but the low HP on Kadian. He knows he has the advantage. The smoke will force him forward. Excuse me, it's a flash. Oh, they're going to win. I was going to bounce it off the other way. You're right. Liquid is going to take the lead 5-4, to four, and Shox may even go out and catch him retreating. No, not quite. Three great kills from Elise to make that the coordinator of where everyone's playing and watching. That's going to happen with this team. They've referenced it a number of times in interviews. They just, you know, it takes a while to build up those protocols of how you want to play different scenarios and different maps. This is still very, a very, very fresh team. Yes. In regards and relative to the other squads they're going to be going up against here in the playoffs of Pro League. Not alone in that, though. I mean, you consider that, you know, Fnatic's got two stand-ins essentially with them and... NIP, although Brolin's here, is not playing. There's a lot of change that's been going on, but you're right. This is a, this is the sort of the most long-term new team that we have. Yeah, you're going to see a few moments that make you scratch your head and are like, what what are they thinking here? And, and and the answer is, you know, sometimes they're just not they're not on the same page as fast as they'd like to be. But that comes with time. 
Elise lurking over towards middle at the moment, watching lane. Good headshot under Refresh. He's traded off immediately off on Katie, and Shock's gonna come right through the smoke. B bombsite is under attack. That's a huge win. That's the bomb. Stown can't get anything else after that. And Shock's wrapping around a massive play. There's Nap as well. Six to four. T side as well. Not able to find those adjustments without the little 30 second breaks. Or excuse me, 20 second breaks. Tessis holding out behind the flames. Doesn't see the flash going up. That's gonna catch him. He looked away late. He actually still somehow manages to get Naf. Elige middle checking the top window position. OC this time finally with the AWP. Two kills so far. One was on the scout, remember, as they picked up one of there are many rounds now, starting to sound like many. Ooh, that's a tough one to clear. Good shot in response from Osi, but he was always going to go down in that situation as he overextended, and they never peeked out from that cubby from Wooden. And if you don't know that he's there, and if you're swung wide and you haven't cleared it with a Molotov, my goodness, you're a dead man. Nitro, you might be a dead man. Get your gun in the hands, bro. He never expected, Katie. Why would you? Well, also, I mean, it, I think that round was, this round was always going to be a bit of a disaster as Nitro tried to rotate back with the bomb. Alicia was pushed up in middle. Six to five. Team Liquid back on the P250s, Tech Nines, one Deagle, one AK-47 in the hands of Shocks. Not a very scrappy game. Which is kind of shocking considering Liquid went on that four round run that we just saw ended. But for the most part, they were surviving with just one and two players alive. So not able to build up any kind of money to really handle a loss all that cleanly. Execute onto the A bomb site. And again, they've made a good call. It'll be another retake from Heroic. They have three players stacked up over towards the B bomb site. Shush is just kind of coming back now. Refresh and Tess is coming through the mid connector. Shocks getting quite far forward in the B side already. Those flashes, they were able to evade the first few. This time, not so much. They've heard Shocks and Ruins, no question about it, because they had to see someone in CT connector. They'll likely go for the back boost smoke again. You can see Tess is trying to get elevated up above now on the head and shoulders of Shush. Stamon finds two in the rounds. OC and Shocks. Counter spam coming in, though. And Liquid Limited. But Kadian again, man, this guy's just taking the map. He's like, yo, I watched this guy. He's he's Danish. His name's Config. He just <laughs> runs everywhere. So I think I'm going to do that today. Why not? Might have also been something that he saw in, in some research, some prep for the game as well. Liquid did have a, a loss on this map to Movie Star Riders. Back in the group stage. That's a very close defuse, but Hero get it. All tied up at six. And with these weaker weapons, Liquid felt like they needed to make a play, needed to push forward, try to wrap around through CT spawn. Stown puts an end to that. First, the kill onto Shocks, able to double up onto OC. And as you mentioned, Kadian just being on a Galil. Plenty of utility for Team Liquid. Four rifles and the FAMAS in the hands of Kadian as well, dropped down to the weaker rifle. But they too have plenty of utility and plenty of kits. Stown takes out Naf. OC. Back in, trying to fire through that smoke. Does a decent amount of damage, but can't get the kill, unfortunately. Since the timeout, it's been all heroic liquid getting silenced and might, in fact, relinquish the lead in this particular round as Shush will rotate back over toward A. No one directly inside of that site. But that's fine, because they control middle, they contain it. Elise still waiting it out at elbow as well, just to see if he can get any further information. Similar to what we saw, as you mentioned, in the last round, but... Kadian managed to still get behind them. Shocks and OC will go back that direction now. So this has the likeliness of ending on A. There is still 50 seconds in the round, a little bit more than that. But see what I do is I say there's less time than there actually is. By the time I finished it, you register it. It's the time that I said. So that's 50 seconds right now, Jason. Nice. Nice. Just giving away the game here. I know, explaining all the tricks of the trade. Yeah, it's it's for the new school casters. Yeah. So when they cast a major, they'll free, be ready. Free lessons. Ooh, Kadian able to find a liege. Hard spot to clear this late in the round as well. You would never expect him to be tucked into the corner. OC and Shock still going to continue forward. 
So many bodies here. Tessa's and Shush. Kadian's back in spawn as well to take some attention away. They can't give away the game until they actually find a fight, but Heroic's not giving them any mistake. Nice shot, shocks. Tessa's and Kadian, no immediate response. Good resurgence from Heroic, as you said, out of the timeout. Still haven't seen that op in the hands of Kadian. They've got the money for it now, but he's sticking to the rifle. I think he's enjoying being proactive and aggressive on the map. Might enjoy it a little bit more. They returned from the flashbang initially, but kills couldn't come out quick enough for Naf and OC. Hey, what's up, Kadian? Nice. DHL MVP, the man who could just frickin' send it. Look at those eyes. Oh, yeah. I don't think his name is Dennis Shapiro, though. Uh, it could be. Alige is gonna go down, so is Nitro. Casper <laughs> Mueller. Today, it's down round of the first half. Team Liquid's map pick, they're down by two, looking to make the gap as small as possible heading into the halftime break. Kadian and Stown gonna be pushed in towards Cave and Jaguar. Beautiful, lush rainforest noises on this map, I will say. Great place to just sit and read a book. Yeah. Coloring book. I gotta imagine mosquitoes would be an absolute nice mare. nightmare. Nice mare. Nice mare. Nice mare. No, it would be a nightmare. <laughs> Slow paced from Liquid Elysian OC are starting to creep out middle. Just past the minute mark, and Naf and Nitro are still stuck behind the smoke at double doors. They haven't yet made their move. Elise has a chance to hop up and maybe can try and help them. It's a long time for Liquid to operate without a whole lot of map control. Elise versus Shush is a huge battle. This is an important exchange. Elise tapping away, can't find the head. He's, surely they swing that from Tetris at this point in time. They don't do it, but Stalin's going to take down Naf. Rather, Nitro, excuse me, it was Naflick of the response on Tess's, but either way, now they've got to go over to the A site. They've got to make this play work. They didn't win out on Donut. Shush is going to turn it around. That means he has control of Shocks. And OC with Elige is pretty much left to do this all himself. He's got the bomb, and he's going to get inside of Ruins because they need kills. They don't have any security in planting it, and that's gone. Nine to six. Very late to like 11 rounds and a half. They need to establish it early on. Three-man stack in middle is going to leave Naf with uh, what looks like a big job to do at the moment. He's all alone at this B bomb site. Three players boosting up to maybe try and pick them off. Shush with the P250. Spots one. Going to back away. Stown's got a P250 as well. The P250, and he's got some shoulders to stand on. Naf, the one inside of the site that's now tasked with a very tall order because not only does he have to watch a main, he's got Cave to worry about as well. I'm surprised Liquid, it's taken him this long to kind of break up that, that three-man stack over towards middle. That's a long time to have that many resources. Naf's been all alone. Yeah, certainly got to call him back now. Alige has arrived. However, there's nothing blocking off, as you mentioned, Cave. So Kadian can pop out whenever he feels necessary. They're trying to hold the line, prevent the cross. There's no utility for Rogue. So this is going to be a brawl if they end up dedicating themselves here. They've shown so much presence. Look at the position of Kadian. He's like, guys, go elsewhere. If anyone tries to push up here and flank, I've got him. Naf as well, firing so many bullets. He's going to be running out soon with that USB. I think he had 14 bullets left when we last saw him. Elise getting the first kill after Tessa's found two, but Naf gets Kadian. They're not done. They're switching this back. Naf's going to be a bit of trouble here. He does have support, though. Elise nearby. He only had four bullets left when he went down. And Elise swinging back in, trying to make amends with the loss of his teammate. Finds yet another as Shush is the one that falls. And it's all in a refresh. He does have the bomb in his hands, however. 19 seconds. No way. No chance. He doesn't make it. He's trying to fake it. I don't think Liquid needed to react to this, but he's given them a bit of positioning to work with. They swing back together. Elise getting the kill. Well done. As Elise finds a few kills. Guess what, Matt? Duelies. Duelies. I didn't even see it on the HUD. I just knew what you were going to say. Refresh has Nitro down, so it's shush, the man that's going to be trying to be loud and proud with two weapons in his hands. The double dually rudder has OC. Slides out. What did the duelies do that time, Jason? It's all, that's all fine. If everyone fails, everyone gets an A. Stop it. Is that why American 
Education is so low, is like that's just how they do it. Part of it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. There's, there's many reasons. We don't need to go in depth on that one. Yeah. Let's leave that out. <laughs> Good deagle shot onto a liege. That's Shush with the opening kill for heroic. Shots dead. Yikes. Yep. That's not ideal. We didn't see. We didn't see any of them on our cameras. Naf pushes down, finds some safety, comes back with that SMG. They're going to start streaming out wide. Oh, look at him use that pillar just perfectly. Oh, here you go. And he's got the dualies. You know, Naf's going to put those to good use. If there's yeah, anyone I can rely on to get kills with the dualies, it's going to be Naf. I would get behind it with Naf using them. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's the right man for the job. KDN trying to sneak back through smoke, all on his own toward B. He's the one with the bomb as well. And they've actually bit. Shush is going in. If he gets one kill here, it's going to be a huge problem. Nitro's still rotating. Nav's going to get yet another kill, bring his total to four. But they've just realized, oh, oh, no. Oh, hang on. It's, it's, it's back at B, guys. KDN has an MP9, and he's going to get a lot of free time. Yeah, but unless he gets aggressive, there's really no chance of winning this round. And the problem is all three players from Team Liquid are sticking together. So the odds of multi-fragging with an SMG against these armored weapons is so low. And the ace. first one's even still a struggle. Oh, yeah. All five kills. A quiet ace from Naf. Yep. Naf's not having a laugh. He's just out here. I'm going to have that weapon in hand. OC on the CT side, obviously. Kadeen on the T side going to be working with that. OC is going to have his lined up his first round towards the A bomb side. He's going to be anchoring that pretty much all on his own. Although Nitro's there and Donut to help out. Naf and Shocks to defend the B bomb site. And Elige, with his dynamic rifling, is going to be positioned in middle. Molotov to clear out the short cubby. And then a peek from Tessus, unfortunately, blinded up by his teammate. With Cubby clear, smokes down in the lane. Tessus will swing cave. Thinks about throwing some utility in first. Never mind, Stallion's already got the shot. Clear indeed, my friends. As Naf this time with the MP9, limited far back behind the smoke. $7,400, though, still just for him. Make it a little more, because he finds another on the MP9. They're still down on this, but a bonus round, as it were. And with a Molotov in position, and a Liege in the M4 getting back out toward the stairs, he's able to find the follow-up kill. They're in a three-on-three, three, still slightly doable. Time is starting to tick, though. They've got the mo or, excuse me, smokes on the extremities, and they've cleared out the cave. This is very winnable now, but Kadian's AWP could be a problem. And then another smoke on top of the bomb, and he's going to run through. Tries to go for the knife, and OC's got every indication of what's going to happen. Fights from cave, and it just wasn't to be. However, plant and a decent amount of kills. Heroics right back into the buy. Op and Katie in four AK-47s. One round lead held for Team Liquid. Smoke goes deep. At the gate, and uh, Stalin's standing behind it, trying to just look for a gap in it in case anyone dare push, but Liquid back in the lead. See if the guns can yield any fruit. Tess is out mid. Heroic's gonna bust up the default, rotate back around to the B bomb site. They've got some space to work with. Both Naf and Shocks have backed away. 23 seconds. Deep smoke back lane. Shocks to push up with it. Naf's already gonna try and do the same, but he'll be smoked off as well. 23 seconds. Down to 12, and utility's decent. Bomb, where is it? It's got to get in position shortly. Someone's got to play. Oh, no, he, he forgot. Played. He, he totally forgot. forgot exactly what we said about OC. The obligation was missed. It's so simple to do. Liquid, you go back to their first round. They ran in. OC identified it. 5K, they're sitting pretty nice in terms of economy. Heroic on the back foot here. They've taken a decent hit early on in the half. They're staggered, but not down yet.
Well, they'll take that. A gimme. <laughs> Shox was aiming it's down, and he gets refresh. Might have even had a double kill there. They're actually heroics. Pretty lucky to not take a bigger punishment from that. Alicia's trying to read the the call back to the A bomb site as they've had a lot of emphasis on B. So he's going to find an opening kill back away. Shows the M4. Gets another frag. Awkward fight to Tessas that he couldn't land. Heroic's looking a little flat at the moment. Some of these T rounds just have not had a whole lot of power behind them. You had one job. I used to be the bomb carrier. Here, Matt, you can't hit a shot. Just plant this for us and it'll be great. <laughs> well, this time, they've only got two players. They're gonna leave the bomb behind for a moment. I think they'll pick that up. Yes, Town's gonna take that with them, but 26 seconds, they're not gonna be going to a bomb site with it because they want weapons. They're not gonna have any money left over. Still no rounds for Heroic on their T side. Yeah. So Liquid gonna find 12, six in a row. Six straight. Coming into this as well, we referenced it at the start. Elise gave that interview saying, you know, Heroic's good matchup for us. We're gonna win this two to one. I don't care how close, but it'll be two one. They are uh, well on their way to the first of those two. And then they're gonna throw the second game? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, right? <laughs> With us that you don't want to use. Well, you could afford to use more on the T side because yep. the CT doesn't need as much. They used two on the CT side. Now they're going to have less if they need to identify issues on this T side. Fair play. That second time out in the first half put a put a stop to the Team Liquid run that was building yes. there on Team Liquid's T side. So that was that was wi wisely used, quite obviously. Open Katie and AK on Stown. Tech Nines on the other three players. Light on utility. They really want these Tech Nines to create some space so Katie and Op can get put into action. All five players for Heroic in middle. Challenging towards Elise's position, he fires. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. When he watches that demo, he's going to giggle a little bit because he just traced two outlines. Nitro missed the timing. Oh, they're already in. They're swarming him. He goes down. Shush with the opening kill. Elise, passive towards this bomb site. Naf's got one on the flank. Elise still hasn't put into action. That's the bomb. Drops down. He's got to go back for it. So time bought. And Kadian can't land the shot either. Nor, the, nor can Naf, though, but he forces him off the angle. Bombs planted. There was no smoke in front of Elise. He was flashed, but now they're going to line up for him. That's an easy hat trick. Magician Johnny going back to get shush. And a lovely round once more from Elise. Naf gets the only other kill, but it doesn't matter because it's now 13 to 9. This is a heroic. Yeah, it should be frustration. That is a frustrating. You, do, you have the round like that. You have the misplant from shush just previously. And heroic can't get anything going their way. This is interesting. I mean, Heroic, we know that they've had issues so far in playoffs, specifically on stages, typically. And, you know, we made the joke, perhaps it's best they didn't get the buy into the quarterfinal in this case. It gives them more time to warm up to it. But are we seeing a resurgence from Liquid? Is this the start of it? I mean, you think of the, the players on this team and the experience they have. They said that on the desk. I mean, Elige, Nitro, Naf, especially Naf because he's more of a quiet, reserved personality. These are guys we used to consider so young. And now they're very experienced. They've won just about everything there is to win, bar a major, unfortunately for them. And then they've got Shocks in the addition to the team. Also still young. Uh, not Shocks. Not, not, not Shocks. Shocks. Still, no, I mean, the knows. experience of guys like Naf and Elige, they're oh, still, yeah, yeah. we forget, no. they're still very, very young. But that's, but that's the thing, though. It's, this is a very serious lineup still. I mean, it's, so you'd expect something from them sooner or later, surely, right? I mean, if 2019 wasn't a fluke, and I don't think it was, then... Yeah, they may not have the same pieces of the puzzle, but they've still got scale, and I think OC's looking pretty sharp so far. Hits another shot on a Tessus as he quickly jumps up above the boost. Maybe, just maybe, Liquid can be a spoiler in events as they slide out. They continue to spoil the party for Heroic this time. They'll concede another bomb plan, but at this point, I don't think they care. They're just getting rounds 14 to 9. Well, you mean you are... So Molly's ablaze at the corner. Additionally, on top of Cube slash Tetris slash Short. I love that there's still a million different calls for different teams on this map. Nitro sliding out, trying to do some damage down toward the bottom side of middle as they spot Refresh dropping into the position, but they can't get the shots. Elise gives himself up from window, and Nitro's locked. He's stuck in the corner. Smoke's going to go both directions, and Nitro's just going to book it. I think we're going to see Shush make a play as well. Oh, Shox, oh. that could have been huge. They were all looking toward 
The aforementioned Nitro. You're right, though. Shushy's the one in behind him, and Nitro oversteps the mark. Yeah, Refresh has got to pick up that bomb, and he's going to go all the way around the long way towards the eight bomb site. So there's a few seconds here, maybe 10 seconds for OC and NAF to get a standing into this retake, see if they can find one frag. Tessus is going to late lurk in mid, make sure nobody can go donut, and he'll come in late for the backstab, or if they both come here, he can take the guns away for Team Liquid. If you're heroic at the moment, what you're thinking is just start getting a, one round at a time, get him on the board, maybe we take away the economy for Team Liquid. That's our way back in. There's so much money on this Team Liquid defense, though. And actually, that might spur them forward. Two on two, they might know refresh is low. That could be confirmed damage. Could have been a dink from earlier. Half gonna come back towards CT spawn, allow OC to just post up with the AWP. And refresh is the low player. Half easy shots. Refresh gets reset, see in the next round. Shush has silenced OC with the kill, and it's 15 a map point for Team Liquid. That's crazy. Just another clutch. Heroic, not on the same. Yeah, Kadian's lost. He's stunned. They're psychologically winning this as much as anything right now, Jason. Vertigo, the next map. It's picked by Heroic Overpass if required, and if Elysia's prediction is true, it will be. Ooh, good shot from OC as they stream out. Good trade as well. Alige, a little bit sketchy on the spray, but he's got one. There goes Kadian. Off, it hits the deck. One for ones all across the board, and Refresh is just going to sink back. He wants to go to the other side of the map because you've got Stown clearing it out, but Shox is the X factor here. There's no way There's no way for Refresh to know that Shox is pushed up. This can get, This is going to be a really weird round. And if he's going to walk the whole way, he can't jump on the boxes. He has to go back through spawn. That's the problem with this long rotation when you're going to do it sneakily, and that means Shox. There's no way to expect him. Easy kill, absolutely. There's no way Shox gets checked. I, I mean, he refreshes thinking Stown's all the way pushed up. What a